start six months, six months later. And um, so S Sebastian is out of my life. He's blown up. Exactly. Um, oh, I'm making a movie of the book I wrote, season That's right. two. They're making a movie of it. And um, and of course, Carmen wants to <laughs> be playing, to play herself. The Carmelita, That's I think right. is the name of the character. So I'll go in and I audition, of course. Go to Willing, if there's a, a fifth season that, that I'm able to make it. I want, I want her to do, to succeed, lo que sea, cantando, bailando, actuando, yeah. mojoneando, que se yo, que sea. <laughs> I have no love this season. <laughs> I don't, I don't get any this time around. No. And it's very sad. It's, it's no. all about the, the, the serious story that I have going but on. But Soyla does. Soyla gets a hunk. Yeah. Lots yeah. of hunks this season. Yeah, we have a lot so. of beautiful men. Yeah. Um, Carlos Ponce. Shirtless. Carlos Ponce, guys. Carlos Ponce. And then you guys love Carlos Ponce. Yeah. El año pasado fue Cristian de la Fuente. And this year we have Carlos Ponce. Yeah, yeah. And next year maybe Cheyenne. For Carmen Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she finds love. I know, and happiness. Um, there's new characters that are introduced yeah. this year. Um, we, I we something from uh, I don't know. If we, I think we can. Yeah. But it's, so, so something from my past comes comes back to haunt me. Yeah. It was. Yeah. We referenced it. Exactly. Yeah. So I guess maybe Carmen has a child. Maybe she doesn't have a child. Um, so, but if I have a child, she might come back. <laughs> and and is she have, like a mini me, like a mini Carmen, and it's way too much to, to handle, but it's all fun. And then, of course, I, I end up loving it. Yeah. Eva's coming back uh, this season. She has, she's going to be part of the first episode. It's like a cameo, and she plays Eva Longoria. She, she plays, plays herself. herself. She yeah. plays an actress. And it's really funny. It's the, the opening, right? It's like yeah. a teaser. And she's just funny, and people get a kick out of, of her lines. You know, they're very clever. Yeah. She references to her old job, and, and it's great. It's great to see her doing this too because it's sort of a spoof on herself, exactly. but it is her. And um, so instead of, you know, whereas in like novella, she's being, she's getting to do comedy and stuff like that, but this is so much more specific because yeah. it is her. And there's some really, I mean, if, if there are Desperate Housewives fans, there's going to be inside jokes for you guys. It is crazy that we had so much controversy at the beginning, but I think. You know, ultimately, I hate to say it, but that old cliche of there's no such thing as bad publicity. I mean, it, it helped yeah. us. We got people watching, and we have the most loyal, loyal viewers. And we're lucky that we have, I mean, we've got great ratings, and... We do. We're the number one show all mm -hmm. time scripted, exactly. yeah, which is great. And uh, I think it was just all judgment because of the title. Yeah. And then once the, everybody saw it, it was very evident. We're talking about four Latinas, five at, at the beginning, with ambition, intelligent, drive, you know, like uh, educated. Mm. So it wasn't what people expected. And the reality is, it's comedy. It was a laugh. It wasn't Shakespeare. Right. And a human cancer is entertainment. Yeah. And I think now that, you know, once the reason that the controversy didn't continue is because, when, like we said from the beginning, if you just watch the show, you'll see that we're actually the ones in power and we're actually the ones, you know, sort of uh, running stuff. So. Um, so I think that's the reason why the controversies just sort of went away because there, you know, there's no there there. Yeah.